So here we are. We're moving into Light the World campaign because we believe as a church, we're supposed to be a light unto this world and to this city. And God provided an incredible opportunity, right, to let us have land. And we're moving into this Light the World building campaign. And this is this, a lighthouse, a building that is a beacon of light, a building that is hope, a church building to bring the people of God into the house of God for the glory of God. Amen, church. This is what we're believing for. So this year we close on this piece of land right here at UTSA Boulevard. This is the land that we closed on. It's an acre of land, raw land. And then we got it platted, praise God. Went through a year getting it platted. There's about two acres of parking with a shared parking agreement with chicken and pickle. That's where our building is going to be. This is what we're believing for. And this is our theme verse for Light the World campaign. In Matthew 5, 14, you are the light for the whole world. A city, and we use this version, built on a hill cannot be hit. Because we believe that this will be a building built on a hill that won't be hidden, but it will give God glory every time somebody goes and plays pickleball, every time somebody goes to those apartment complexes, every time you bring a friend to church, every time God's going to get glory. And we're building a church to light the city. We're building a building to light the city, not to stay in four walls, but to find ourselves being renewed, shaped, equipped, discipled, and sent out for the city. This is what God is doing in our house. This is what he's doing through us, Luminous Church, through our family. This is one of the renderings of the outside with a 360 degree, a a two-story structure that sits there. Praise God. This will be the front that you see on UTSA Boulevard. This will be the back of the building right here with a, with a second story discipleship deck is what we're calling it. Where, where the lost will be found, where kids will hear the gospel, where college students will meet in one-to-one books, purple books, small group discipleship. Sins will be confessed. Life will happen. People will walk in freedom. God's going to do amazing things there. Amen, church. This is one of the schematic blueprints that we got. This is the first floor, a 10,500 square foot, roughly, structure on the first floor with a worship center, kids ministry, a cafe, a luminous loves pantry to continue to serve those in need in our city. The second story is about 7,000 square feet with a balcony to, for overflow seating. It'll also have office space, youth space, our discipleship deck right there. Praise God. Isn't that amazing? So we're looking over the next two years to raise $700,000. And so this is our two-year goal through pledges, through one-time offerings, through gifts. And everybody say, that's impossible. It's impossible. Here's what I mean by that. It's impossible. Our general offering is $350,000 a year. So it's impossible. This is impossible without God. But with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. So here's the breakdown. The breakdown is this. Is that we already started construction documents. That's $175,000. That we're believing God will provide through our general offering as we go and we give to our general tithes and offerings. We're paying for that. We're believing for it. And and we just know that God's going to do it. So we started that process a month ago because we wanted, as we raised money, to be able to break ground if God were to write some crazy checks for us and we could go right then. So we started that process. The estimated cost of the building is two and a half to three million dollars. And we're looking for a 20% down payment. Anybody own a house in here? Right? Like how many put 20% down on their own house? Not me. (laughs) So 20% down is a great payment. It's a great down payment. We're believing for that. We're also believing for $200,000 for one year of payments and operating costs. This will make sure that we have enough in the bank to make our payment regularly and to be able to operate without taking any misses in ministry that we already do. 
So this is what we're believing God for, this building. It's an impossible goal, but it's possible by God. And we're doing this through our pledges and our one-time offerings. So if you were to make a pledge, this is what it could look like. And this is what I'm asking you to pray for, for our commitment Sunday on November 12th. Could you give weekly $10 a week, which would be $1,000 over the course of two years? Could you give more than that? This just breaks it down for you. What does God put in your heart? Not what can I do in my ability, but what can God do if I just say yes to him? Because I know that anytime we give to something like this, it has to be bigger than us. God's not going to call us anytime. I love this about faith. God always calls us to something beyond ourselves. Because if it was just us, we wouldn't need him. This is what God calls us to, is big faith. And we're believing for this in a great way.